This one must be yours. That'll be fun. <laughs> Anyways, follow our Instagram for New Year's Eve shenanigans. Woo! Um, yeah. Hi guys, what's up? I'm Emmy. Hey, it's your girl Tori. And this is Mori Mori Entertainment. Woo -woo! And we are reacting to Alamot. We're catching up yes. on Alamot. So there will be four five. to five mm -hmm. different videos. videos we are reacting to in this video reaction. Mm -hmm. but we will. So make sure you stay to the very end to see if your video is here somewhere that you want us to do. Yes. Okay, okay. Now, with that being said, make sure you follow all those. What is this? Why, why, are, what? why are you having an accent? I don't know. I have an accent. <laughs> Listen, I'm Stop. four margaritas deep, okay? Okay. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> all their information is in our description box down below. Make sure you follow them. Show them some love. If you want to follow us and show us some love, ours are also down there for Mori Mori Entertainment and our personals as well. So follow my Instagram, follow her Instagram, follow my Twitter, follow her Twitter, follow my YouTube channel, follow her YouTube channel, and Mori Mori for all the chaos. Mori Mori is like the home base. Yes. <laughs> this is where Mori Mori is like the mothership. <laughs> together because we are funny separate but when you get us together mm -hmm. it's it's next level shit mm -hmm. it really is yeah it, it's a little awkward by itself yeah it really is yeah. i haven't filmed many videos on I that channel yet, yet, so i'm okay. quite awkward i'm always awkward <laughs> anyways let's go oh did you say a name oh alamat maharani hmm. my last names oh no. It is nowhere close. No. Good try. I was. I, I, oh, hold on. Okay, I had teeny. <laughs> I got a knee. I know. Oh my god. I've seen him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Their vocals are so good. Him and he is stunning. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Mo is always just delicious. Oh, my God, Joe. I mean, I like the song. This is the most honest. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's Very sad song. He just body rolls to a sad song. <laughs> 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 right, back the man. Oh my god. 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 Oh my Oh my god, are you put your eyes away, bro? Are you not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm not used to Tomas being like dark. Ah, oh, it's a nail! Stop it. Eyes. It's a nail. It's a nail. I know. Like, it's a nail, no. He knows. And we know you know you know. Yeah. There's no hiding that. Oh, I 
Subtitles just so I could better understand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, yeah, I still enjoyed it, you know. But and I liked how it's focused more on the music than then. like a music video, you know what I mean? I agree, but like, I, I still would have liked more of like, I guess, the members whether they were just sitting more like clips, mm. you know. But I, I get it, I liked how they did it. I do. Mm, what Here is in my hair? Is that lip gloss? <laughs> this is what happens when you drink too much. Mm. Four margaritas is not a lot. They were weak too. So. A week. Here we go. Are you gonna? <sighs> Alamata. Uh, now. A swung. A swung. Yeah. I, I think you did good. That's a good. A swung. A swung. A swung. A swung. Awesome. I don't know, but this already looks like a vibe, man. This looks. This looks amazing. Like, I'm curious on like the whole story already. The message or meaning? Oh, where are we ghost hunting? Did Did you you me? Oh, police! I don't know, like that. Yeah. Oh. Oh my oh. God! Yo! Oh, that's a nail. Who's holding the knife? Oh, Tomas. Oh no! Yo, there's the baddies. Oh. with the. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Oh, oh Mo, stop it. His voice, man. Oh, he's got a twist. Yes. Oh. This is B. Look at him! I see him, thank oh. you. Oh my god. <gasps> the way the nail came through, baby! I'm, I'm like in his whole fit. Yes, I would Hey, oh, it's fishnet. I'm gonna say, <laughs> Are we matching? We're, we're wearing mesh, but I mean, I got some fishnet somewhere. Okay. I'm liking that whole thing. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, sir. I 
That is nice though. Oh my god. Very sexy. You should come to yourself, honey. Okay? <laughs> what? Oh! Oh my god! I mean, they can be one person. Ooh. I mean, I mean Okay. Oh my god. Okay! Oh, it's a nail. Oh. It's a nail. Look, he knows what he's doing. Ooh, Ooh that was nice. nice. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. So nice. <sighs> I am loving it. I really enjoyed that, that a lot. Nice. It was very different from what we first listened to. Yes. So the switch up was nice. Yes. And the beat, it reminded me, it was a little Michael Jackson mm -hmm. vibe, I which I love. I think they did love. this around Halloween time. I figured. Mm -hmm. Just from Obviously. looking at I it. Just, I just wanted to let you know. I, I I inferred that oh, you know I, I picked mean, up the the P's and Q's listen, laying we around. Listen to a lot of K-pop <laughs> and they don't care. They'll do a Halloweeny theme in August. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. August is kind of close, kind of sort of. But I figured. Yes. Okay. I figured. Okay. You know, I'm a smart cookie sometimes. Sometimes all my chocolate chips are there. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'm missing one or two, but they're all there today. What well, makes you a nutshell? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? I, I don't. I don't want to hear. It. Listen, you've done, you've done. You've done nutshell. What about you? There was we something we're talking about in that. No. No. I what think was your not. Dumb moment? What was my dumb moment? <laughs> yeah, you did something very. You know dumb. the street sweepers. <laughs> I was riding with my sister. And I was, the street sweeper was going so slow. And there was that's a one lane road. That's what they do. Yeah. You, you know, I was like, man, if this chimney sweeper doesn't get out the way. <laughs> Wrong. Oh, she was dying. Oh, oh it, was, it was so funny though. I was cracking up. She was cracking up. Good God. It was funny. See, you, I can laugh at myself, okay? <laughs> The next oh one God. is the dance performance. That's fine. I'm ready. I'm okay with it. Are they going to just wear this fit? Or are they going to... I really like the black ones. But I like these two. Oh, we get to see the whole team. Notice they did that. I didn't know they said it in the music video. So maybe I said no fishnet today, please. I just wanna show my muscles. Uh -huh. For those who don't know, we don't know how to dance. Just throwing that out there. I was well, so mom. People would know this by now. I'm gonna be listening to this song on my way to work tonight. <laughs> you gotta be your mom. <laughs> no. I know, but I like looking at our eyes more. 
end up wearing bucket hats. I get it. But Expression is a very important part of dance, I'll have you though. He's trying to be a monster right now. Let him do his thing. He's a monster in my heart. <laughs> I, we say that every time that on there. go away for a little videos, bit. I feel. Yes. Oh. Well, at, oh. <clears throat> at least your man was sent a fairy. Sent a fairy. Ending fairy. Oh, whatever. Here's the dance. MV. MV. Oh. I actually really, 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 really like this song. Oh, the way Tanae opens in there. I love it. I would like Tanae's house a lot, though. The camera works also very yes. nice. Very nice. He looks so good blonde. Like, this blonde. Not the yellow. Not the brass blonde. Blonde. We say this all the time, but when an idol goes blonde, there's just... A different like it's like the vibe or like ego comes out. <sighs> it's like an all I don't all know, but I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's very nice. Yeah. When it's this not brass yeah. blonde. Like mm -hmm. this blonde. This blonde. Yeah! I have a 
feeling it was the last one left. You had a feeling? I got a feeling. Hey. So we are going to be reacting to Say You Love Me performance worker version, which we like and then. Did you see the music video? Yes. I did. You didn't? No. Oh, well, then we'll do that. The next marathon. This is just the most recent one. Oh my. Oh, they're both there? Never mind. Sorry. My eyes were on both. One on one. So you were crushed? Yep. Whoa! Whoa! I love it. Oh, a laugh. Yes. I'll pull up that V-Max for ya. Oh. Mm, I love you. Exactly. I pulled your words against you. Don't want to hear it. He was not part of the agreement. Only I had a member from this crew part of the agreement. Well, well I need to make another member. <laughs> no, I don't want to make another agreement. I'm good. Hey, hey. Look at his hair. Look at his hair. 
voices you could pick out. Oh mm. my gosh, Abbas, put your eyes away. Right now. He's got like these deep dark eyes mm. and I love them. Mm. Alright. We will be doing Say love me, say love me, then kukakaji or nothing. Doing the MV. Just gotta give me a second. Oh, it's the dance version. Yeah, I know. Okay, here we go. The MV. See, look at that. And they're all like dirty and yes. like we like hard working men. Yes. Like, we them. love it. Oh my gosh. Then spin I love you. Oh my god, it's a nail! Oh my goodness. I don't know where to look. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> Can I help you? Come here! That's what it felt like. I was like this, and you were like, ah! Sorry. Sorry, no, sorry. That's how you normally are. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 I, I, that's why I'm going. Like, look at Tomas. Tomas. Like, I mean, I it. expected this of Taneo. Yes. I yes. love it. Love it. Mm -hmm. But I did not expect this from you, Tomas. Yeah. What happened to being like our little? Oh, he said, know? "Fuck that." He's like, "Fuck that shit." He's I'm out. <laughs> look at RG's expression. I cannot. I can't. His hair. It's so fluffy. Okay. And look, look, look. I see. Shirtless there too. Every. Almost everyone. And you don't you just you do stop feeling love for the other person. I know. It does happen. I know. I wouldn't cheat though. I just no. break up. Bye. Exactly. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No. Like I wouldn't be that abrupt. I know. I you I'm know broken up with people because I don't have that feeling anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like you know I'm sorry. I don't want to hold you back, but it's time for you to move on. I don't have the feelings for you anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's someone out there for you. It's just not me. Exactly. Type of thing. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god, RG. <laughs> That's cool. Look at me. Oh, I lost this oh. oh my. Sometimes love's not enough. I mean, that's shitty, but. Burn. 
the other ones too but I feel like we only listened to three yeah yeah I like the other one too oh I thought you said other ones I'm like no I like the, only three I like the other one oh, okay two, two. but uh Aswang and say you love me are a little mm -hmm. I feel like know. each one was so different from each other mm -hmm. that they didn't clash or anything like that mm -hmm. that it just depends on your mood yeah. How you feel that day is how that song is going to one? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Who you're with? Oh, is this for you at 7 o'clock? <laughs> 8.30? And no, it's not. <laughs> you love to say you love <laughs> But, okay, so say you love me. They were talking about how, like, you don't look at me the same. I've had that where a guy I've been dating for a long time, I feel like, doesn't look at me the same he's starting to treat me like kind of different not bad but not how he used to mm -hmm. like not as caring as he once was mm -hmm. and that's when i was kind of like oh i guess <clears throat> you know things are about to change and mm -hmm. you know it just it is what it is it's shitty but it happens it don't cheat though no if you're not getting what you want out of your relationship then sit down with your significant other talk about it discuss things and see maybe, maybe they're or feeling just the send same it. way you should talk first. Talk first. Maybe they're feeling the same way. If they are, 
discuss on how you want to fix your issues. If they don't, then end it. You know? I ended. Hmm. But then again, I didn't want a kid right at that moment. Yeah, right? yeah. And when I felt pressured in that, I was just like, I can't give you what you want. Mm. I'm not feeling it. I've been pressured now to the point of things have changed. And I started liking a girl more than him. But mm. I didn't tell him that. Because mm. that was not his business. Because I didn't do anything. I didn't cheat. I didn't do nothing. I just started developing feelings. And I was just like, mm, time for me to end things. Mm. And that's what I did. See, I like to talk first, because once I break up with somebody, I don't talk Oh, about. I was ready to leave. <laughs> when you have him and his whole family pretty much pressuring you, uh, and saying, oh, I want to swap out your birth control, I want to swap out this, then it was like, I'm done. And then the whole, like, I was hanging out with a friend who came back from Afghanistan. He can, I let him hang out with his friends, whatever, which mm -hmm. is mainly his family. Um, God knows what time that night. I hung out with my ex's brother who just came back from afghanistan him and the girl or whatever we went to the mall mm -hmm. he told me you better be home before it gets dark <laughs> is that what I, is that he, he texted me, me. Oh, he text me. And I, because it just snowed and all that i was like um we just arrived two it's about to be dark He's like, well, he better drive safely with you in the car. I'm like, one, he just came back from Afghanistan. I'm pretty sure he cares about his life, too. Three, I'm older than you. You are not going to treat me like this. Are you coming back to my house? I live by myself. Like, what the? My, I was like, you're not going to tell me what to do. My, one of my exes, we dated three and a half years. His mom, we were only together maybe like six months. And his mom sat me down. They are like devoutly Catholic, hmm. like devoutly, no birth control, none of that. She sat me down. She said, I know you and so-and-so are so-and-sowing. So-and-sowing. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yes. And she was like, are you using birth control? And I was like, yes. And she said, why? I said, because I'm 20 and I don't want a kid. That's why. She was like, well, do you think you should be doing that? And I was like, yes. It's my life you know he's an adult i'm an adult mm -hmm. we're consenting adults we agreed to use birth control so where's the problem and she was like you know you're right you want to use birth control that's fine but she said if by chance you do get pregnant please don't abort the baby and i was like first of all my body my choice second of all that's not something i could personally do mm -hmm. you know like i personally could never have an abortion <clears throat> it's just not something i could do but I know there's people out there who that is their only choice is to get an abortion. Due to and medical I, terms. Yeah. Or I feel like if I was put in a predicament like yeah. against my will, yeah. um, then I probably wouldn't be able to carry yeah. what Well yeah. Happened. Like if I had when I was raped, if I had gotten pregnant, I probably would have aborted the baby then. Just because I the kinda, trauma of it all, good yeah. God. Plus but, I don't know the history of the other person, so I wouldn't be able to know. Yeah. Like but she, after that talk, she <laughs> never brought it up again. Mm -hmm. And I actually ended up moving in like within a couple See, of months. The one. And oh. she loved me, loved me. See? I helped her take care of the kids and everything. Like I was good with kids. I just the, didn't want any at 20 The family years old. loved me too. The family loved me more than the ex or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Loved me tremendously because I brought him back to his family. She drove him away from his family. I brought him back to his family. Mm -hmm. So they love that factor that I got him back in his mom's life, all that fun stuff. Sometimes the family can be just as crazy and pressuring as the individual themselves. Yes, but like my thing though is like, we weren't even dating a year. Mm. We were engaged less than a year, which I didn't even really want. We dated three and a half years and we were not engaged by the end of the I didn't, <laughs> here's my thing. I felt pressured, okay? Yeah. I felt pressured. He did it. A matching Christmas outfit. I hate that. I hate it. What matching? Do you? I let hate me go take this off right now. Shut up. With him and how he wants. He, he, if you just knew his style. What was that? I don't know. Um, if you only knew his style though, mm -hmm. he was like a hat, mm -hmm. which is like a whatever sport team, a plain red, whatever shirt, whatever plain shirt, um, 
shorts, um, basketball shorts, and it's shoes that had to match the shirt and the hat. It, it was awful. It was <laughs> so awful. I felt judged putting on my music. I felt judged for liking anime. I felt so different ways that I was just like, uh. but no, when he proposed, I said yes. And he's like, good thing you said yes, because if you had said no, I would have walked out and Okay, left. bye. But I didn't know where I was located. Phone service was horrible. I had no <laughs> I would have to get me. Bye. I had no word to get me. But I have friends. Bye. I could, I could, but that's I guess that's uh, like I that goes to show a different boonies. situation. Listen, I was in the boonies after a party, okay, and my friend, the little Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, blonde chick mm -hmm. that we all know and hate mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she said that they would take us home at like 2am oh, 2am yeah. rolls around mind you I was like I'm, I'm not gonna say my age I was younger mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. then I should have been out doing these things things mm -hmm. but 2am rolls around Nothing. hey we gotta yeah. go. she's in this guy's room I, I didn't do anything with anybody okay mm -hmm. I was chilling sipping my drink <laughs> But like I'm I'm not the type to do that. So she like I knocked on his door, yo, gotta go. I got things to do, I got work, blah blah blah. No answer, no nothing. So I ended up calling my dad mm. at four. I waited for two hours. Four in the morning. I was like, Dad, I don't know where I am. Can you come get me? He was like, What street are you on? I was like, I think it's this street. And he was like, oh, okay, I, I know where that is. He's a retired police chief. Mm -hmm. So he, like, knows the roads. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I was in the sticks, bro. Mm -hmm. I was, like, out there. And he was like, okay, okay, I know where that is. I'll come get you. And I was like, don't tell mom. He was like, don't worry, we won't tell her. He came pick me up and we went and got breakfast. I love my dad. But it just goes to show, like, different situations. Like, you didn't have anyone you could call. I had no one because at that point... I was slowly being like distanced from my people, like not me personally wanting to. He only liked one of my friends. Yeah. And it's one of those things, like I told him, I was like, I'm bisexual, by the way. He's like, that's fine. I know you won't cheat on me. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. I was like, I have a lot of friends in that, you know, community. Mm -hmm. He's like, that's fine. As long as none of them hit on me, I won't have an issue. Mm -hmm. Like, especially gays. And I was just like, what makes you think they'd even want you? I was personally? like, one, if they're my friends, they're not going to hit on you. Right. Two, um, you're none of their types. <laughs> the only reason why you were my type is because you were funny and you made me laugh at work. That's it. And I was in a vulnerable state of my life. <laughs> the minute your significant other, not even just guys, girls do it too. Girls are very fucking toxic. Mm -hmm. But the minute whoever you're with or however many people you're with, you could be in a poly and this happened too. Mm. You start getting distance from the people in your life who have been there for you, care for you. The minute those significant other start trying to distance you from them, leave. None of them like, really distance me. It's just that I never had time because I worked night shift mm. a lot too. So I definitely... You said he only liked one of your friends. Yeah, he liked, yeah, one. Because they had similar personalities. Mm. But after we broke up, he got back with his ex and had a child. So I was like, you got what Good you wanted. Good for him. I was like, yeah, you got what you wanted. Power to you. I don't know. I don't like guys around. Well, mm, let me rephrase oh, she that. Was, she was crazy. <laughs> Yo. Let me rephrase she, that. Oh um, I, in our direct, direct within like 20 minutes, 30 minutes of where we are, I don't like guys around here. My guy lives in 40 minutes away, so that's safe. You hear that, guys? Her guy. Anywho. Anywho! Is there a status on this? No. Should I be watching out while we go clubbing this weekend? Oh, no. No, no, no. 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 Mm -mm. We are going to the Philippines. Oh, yes. I already told him. Okay. I told him I'm moving. That's what I said to the, my little fling thing. He was like, that's fine. He was like, if things get serious, I'll deal with it. He was like... No, but what you gonna do? To end at that point. No, on his oh, yeah. side, he was like, I'll deal with it. And I was like, okay. Alright, it sucks. Anyway, we love you. Bye. Anyone who made it this far.